William Farkas, Food Bank of Eastern Michigan. We're going to show you how to do a few simple ways to um, elevate your holiday box to make it a little nicer for the holiday season. So we're going to start with our chicken and chickens usually come with a lot of extra pieces like some neck, some livers. And really the key here is to not waste anything. So we get all those little gizzards and other things out of there. Make sure you rinse it thoroughly. You can see that juice dripping off. It's okay, we've got it in the pan. If it still has the neck connected, just find the joint. You can either twist it off or cut it. Real easy like that. So we've got a little saucepan here, going with some butter. And we're actually gonna throw those gizzards right in. So standard onion, yellow onion, sweet onion. We're gonna cap them at both ends. Notice how I'm holding the knife. Pinch right over here, don't do this. That doesn't give you any extra strength or power. Pinch here, roll it around here, tip down. Always leave the tip and when you're doing a rocking motion. So I'm gonna cut it in half. And again, we're going with not wanting to waste anything. When I'm at home, I save all of these, freeze these, freeze these little ends. They can go into the stock that we're making. And we're just sauteing those little ends and papers and we're gonna extract all the flavor out of them that we can. I'm gonna put about half an onion into the bird and we're just gonna do a, a really rough julienne chop on it. Notice I'm curling my fingers. And those will go into the chicken. We're also gonna add in some of their, some celery. Again, I'm looking at just getting those plate pieces that we normally throw away. Take these, we normally wouldn't use these. So these go into the stock that we're gonna make. And stock is just like broth. And you can use anything, whether it's like wing tips, whenever I'm making wings at home, I save the little wing tips, throw those in later, but you can freeze all that stuff. You can freeze the papers, you can freeze those those end pieces, anything that you think you'd normally throw away that of the vegetable, save it, freeze it for later, then saute it, add some water, make a stock, simmer it for about two hours, and then you'll have a good stock, rich, hearty flavored liquid to work with. I need to treat this chicken. So we're gonna take our pan, we're gonna grease our, pan, our roasting pan. You can use cooking spray. I usually like to use a little bit of uh, olive oil. It just adds a little flavor. So take these, so you've got the chicken here, and this side is the breast, legs. You can see the thighs back here, legs, wings. These wing tips want to burn. So what you're gonna to want to do, and I'll do it, try to do it slow here, is bend these around so they, they tuck under and stay tight. Same thing over here. So the wings should just stay there. If they want to pop out, work them around a little bit until they break and then you can get them where they need to be. Important part too is to season the whole thing. And we're gonna get our olive oil. You can also use melted butter. You can also use a bit of um, canola oil, any type of oil or fat you've got working. And I always start with the inside cavity. Get a little bit in there or a lot of it, however you want. And then we'll season the inside of the cavity too. So I always season the bottom too. So I'm gonna transfer it now to the pan we're gonna actually be cooking it in. Now we like to give it a nice bath, a bath with the olive oil. And again, we're using just simple seasonings here. Salt, pepper, you could throw some garlic powder on there too. All of it works. We're gonna take those onions that we had from earlier and put them in the cavity. Do the same with some, some celery. Those are just some nice aromatics. They'll lend some flavor, some body to the chicken. Now, if you really want to make sure that it gets nice and crispy, I usually uh, put a quick, in a, in a sieve, dust a little baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. Baking soda will make it taste like soap. You don't want that. But if you dust a little bit on that, it helps it get nice and crispy. 
And then if you really want to make sure it gets that golden color, I always add a fail safe, which is some paprika. That makes sure when it's in the oven, it gets that really nice golden color. If you have a meat thermometer you can, that's oven safe, you can put it in there. I usually put it into the breast and I wait until it's about 165 to 170. Uh, but this will take about an hour and 20 to an hour and a half at 350 degrees. All right, our bird is ready to carve. There's a couple styles you can go in with this. A lot of folks cut down the breast line and then take the whole breast off. I'm gonna show you how to do both ways. Um, so I usually start by getting rid of my leg quarters uh, right away. So we'll get into there in this cavity. We'll just slice right down the leg and the thigh. And you're gonna really get in there and feel for that joint. Start to pull the meat itself away. And if it's done all the way, which we know it is, it should just pop right off. There's a leg and thigh piece right away. So I'm gonna show you a bit more of a um, bit of a fancier way. You're gonna cut parallel with the board a couple times, create those layers, and then just go until you stop. I usually go through a couple times just to make sure it's all the way through. And then when you go back down the breast, some nice pieces just come right up. There's our breast. And if you like the wing, there's the wing. Now, a bit more of a traditional style for the cutting of the breast. Just go down the bone, carve the whole thing off, and then cut it up on the board. Like so. Slice, slice. However you like to do that. I'll get this last leg quarter off. last wing. I did this real fast and rough so there's still a ton of meat on here um, but you can pick at that later. Uh, and once you get all the meat off of this guess what I'm going to tell you to do with this? Save it and then put it in your next round of stuff.